So what I'm doing today is showing you how I personally make my iced coffee. Now I have a Mr. Coffee Keurig coffee maker and I got this at Burlington for I think like 70 bucks. I know it's gone down in price so I'm not quite sure how much you can get this for but I love it. It has been like a total lifesaver for me. But anyways, I have these tumbler cups. It's the kind that you like the insulated tumbler cups. You put like a straw in here but I have that in the jar um, and you can get these at Ross. This one's from Ross itself. But anyways, I go ahead and I take the dip tray out so that this can fit in it. Put that underneath and then I take my coffee. This is the Folgers French Roast coffee, I don't know. And I take, I have the little Keurig um, filter that you buy separately. I bought it because it's a lot cheaper than buying those little Keurig thingamajiggies and it, this is basically what it looks like. I think I've shown it to you before in a video, but I don't know. So anyways, basically you want to fill this little guy up with some coffee. So now your coffee is in this little thing. I call it an acorn because I think it looks like an acorn, but now your coffee is in this thing. Basically all you do is you lift this, you go ahead and you place your coffee in here and you push that down. Right here is where you fill it up with some water. So I personally use a pure water filter system and I use that water in my coffee maker thingy. So this is kind of difficult pouring with my left hand. You can kind of see I poured it absolutely everywhere. And you fill it up to where it says to fill it up. Ooh, that was very difficult with my left hand. And basically I just put it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and brew my coffee and then I'll show you what I do next. So now that that's done, I have the coffee in here. Sorry, the noise in the background is my washer. There's nothing I can do about it. But anyways, um, after it's in here, I go ahead and I put this in the refrigerator. Okay, so basically I've had my coffee in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half. Longer than I expected it to be just because I ended up going out and getting some things done. But I've had it in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half. Um, basically, so it is actually chilled to the temperature I want it to be. Basically, now I'm just going to go ahead and add my ice. And I don't like to add too much. I mean, you don't need too much in your coffee. So just add as much ice as you prefer. That's about good. I guess that's good. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my creamer. I use the Nestle Coffee Mate Creamer. And I don't know if you guys know, but you're supposed to shake these up. I've noticed a lot of people don't shake theirs up. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pour some creamer in there. That was way more than I expected to use. Go ahead and stir that up and whether this is the way that you like it or not you can also add milk to it a lot of times just to kind of top it off just so I have you know a good amount of coffee in here I like to add a little bit of milk now I use skim milk which you know is almost like water so sometimes it can water it down but sometimes it makes it just a little bit more creamy and smooth but I'm just gonna top it off with that and that is actually how I make my iced coffee.